where the features might be. And it doesn't have to be perfect at this point in the drawing. It can be pretty loose. Quite a bit of deliberate, or it takes quite a bit of a deliberate force in order to to make marks that are gonna that are gonna make it through all the layers of colored pencils that we're gonna typical apply. next. And for right now, I'm just gonna give an idea of where it comes down. Again, very loose here, just the contour lines. I may start to put some indication. You can really see the texture of the paper showing through. That's not a problem. And then right underneath the nose, we've got some cast shadow that comes down. A variety of colors and tones to work with. And you probably want to invest that extra bit of money for some higher quality color. And that is really far from the truth. Everybody's made up of lots of different versions of similar colors undertones that we're looking for here now we can start to really concentrate on the, the perceived colors that are actually there so I'm gonna go back with the dark uh, the dark brown there are ways to do this uh, so if if I'm using a way that you're not accustomed to or you're not comfortable with that's fine you don't have to you don't have to work in an area and branch out this is just just recently counted how many there are in there right now there are 72 recorded lessons so that's a but there's a lot of advantages too like when you're starting out the drawing you can draw uh, a little bit more deliberate uh, without being so committal to what you're drawing so you can slowly and define the highlight to begin with right overlapping that pupil there and I've purposely left a space there so that I don't have to bear down last week and it's just a little bit of value here in the iris already and then once we've got that initial application it is almost the overall skin tone of this young man here yeah we kind of have an overall skin tone but a little bit more pressure and cover up some of those spots of paper just a bit that are showing through. And I'll go ahead and bring As far as the amount of pressure that I'm putting on the pencil, I'm, I'm just kind of slowly building things up. I'm not putting a whole lot of heavy pressure here. In some areas I will, look around the eyes, I did Draw put a lot of pressure then, on the pencil. As it kind of goes back in towards the recesses here, towards the middle of the eye, it gets a little softer. So I'll go ahead and put that mark down right on top, and then with the darker brown, I'll kind of go right. Maybe just a little bit of the burnt umber here in the corner. And then back to the dark brown here, if I can find it. There we go, burnt umber. And we're just going to make this here. We'll go ahead and bring that shadow down with the dark brown here. A little bit stronger, especially here on the front edge of the nose. Now remember, we've already got some cream down, so I'm not going right on top. I'm not going down with just pure white. Uh, the white is going to mix a little bit with the cream. <laughs> so we'll layer right on top of that with the dark brown and uh, even things out a little bit. So. Of course, you don't have to do this step, but it kind of gives it a little bit more of a finished feel. I like to make the lips a little bit darker, uh, or a little bit less red, I should say, but overall I'm pretty pleased with how the skin tones uh, played out with this demonstration.